I'm Coach Corey Wayne, and this is my video coaching newsletter. And the topic of this newsletter is going to be why you always need to have a better comeback with women. Sometimes, and that's why I do so many videos, is I mean, you can see from all the videos I do, it's like every scenario and situation a guy is in, they're not. There's no two situations that are exactly like. There's lots of similarities. But there are always things, situations, things that women say that, like if a guy is unprepared because he hasn't practiced enough, he'll fuck up and he'll do the wrong thing. And the idea is that when a woman challenges you on something and she teases you about something, you always want to have a better, more humorous comeback. I mean, just like James Bond does. Like in the movie Casino Royale, there's a part in the movie where he had just won this Jaguar, this old old uh, collectible Jaguar, from the, one of these bad guys that he's following and this guy's a real bad husband and he's got a really hot wife and James Bond wants to seduce her and so he's out checking the car out and he sees his wife and she looks unhappy of course because she's with a douchebag and he invites her to have a drink and then she says oh it's been a long time since I've been bad because obviously she's married and he says well maybe you're just a little out of practice and he sits there with a smirk on his face and for just a moment, for like half a second or a second, she gives him this look like, how dare you say such a thing to me? I'm a married woman. She doesn't say anything, but she just gives him this look like for a brief moment, like she's disgusted with what he said. And he just sits there with a smirk on his face and she throws it in and then she, and she, he says, uh, well, here, here's what happened. Now I remember. He says, he invites her for a drink. And she says, oh, it's been a long time since I've been bad. And then he says, well, maybe you're just a little out of practice. And that's his better comeback. Because it's like her way of saying, because she wants to be able to, remember, women got to blame having sex on the guy. And obviously she's married. And so when he says, well, maybe you're just a little out of practice, and he stands there with a smirk and she gives him that dirty look for a second. He just sits there with a smirk. And he doesn't flinch. He doesn't move. Because he has total self-confidence. Because he knows it's going to happen. It always does. And that's the way you need to think from the end. You need to think this is what always happened. It always works out. And we always end up in bed together. And so she, after about half a second, she throws her head back and she laughs. And she hops in the car. And then they end up going back to his place. And he seduces her successfully. But he, I've got an email here from a uh, guy who commented on my YouTube, uh, YouTube video that he did. And he said, Coach, I need your help. I met a girl about two weeks ago and we really hit it off. She was really into me and kept texting and calling me. And after the third date, I wanted a relationship. And he says, I know, big mistake, but she wanted me to go slow. It's like the third date and you're bringing up relationship and being exclusive. You, you totally fuck things up when you do that because it's you're just not there. I mean, what, that's why you never bring these things up because it's the woman's department to bring these things up. And it's all you have to do as a man is simply create the next romantic opportunity for sex to happen when she reaches out to you, when she texts you, when she calls you, hey, great to hear from you, I'd love to see you, when are you free to get together, question mark, and text that back to her, let her tell you, make a definite date, either go pick her up or meet her out someplace, and you just do that over and over, and you continually seduce her over and over, that's the man's job, is to create an opportunity for sex to happen, and over the course of about two months or so, she'll fall in love with you as long as you're doing more things right then wrong and then she's going to get to the point where she says so where is this going are you dating anybody else or if you are dating other people you better not be sleeping with them she'll say things like that and then you just say what do you mean are you saying that you want to be exclusive that you want to be boyfriend girlfriend you ask her questions it's always whoever's asking the questions is the one that's always in charge of the conversation remember that it applies in the date and it or even applies if you've been together for two years and so if you're unsure of what she means, always ask her, what do you mean? What are you saying? Are you saying you want to be exclusive? Are you saying that you don't want, want to be dating anybody else? And she'll say yes. So you're saying, so you want to be boyfriend, girlfriend? She'll say yes. And until she brings it up, she's not there. And that's why you don't have to worry about it. And so you're totally complicating things and fucking things up by bringing that up after on a third date. It's ridiculous. I talk about it in my book, don't do it. It's the quickest way to get yourself rejected and put in a let's just be friend zone or having the girl say, don't complicate things. Or she'll say, I'm not ready for a relationship or I'm not looking for a relationship. And this girl told you to slow down. He says, so I backed off and after the first date, I didn't text her that much. The phone is used for setting dates, not texting her. And see what this tells me is you're texting her incessantly in between your dates, which also ruins attraction and it's anti-challenge because you want the woman to start pursuing you. And if you're texting her all the time, 
she's certainly not wondering where she stands with you. And so he says, I didn't text her that much. He says, I didn't want to come across as being needy. So good for you for doing that. But he says, and then she asked me why I wasn't texting her. And I told her I don't like texting. That's such a horrible answer. Because what's happening is, is you were obviously texting her all the time. And now you say, well, I don't like texting. After you've basically spent the past month texting her constantly. So that's bullshit. That's a lie. And so she perceives it as being a lie. And he says, now she doesn't initiate contact and she seems cold and distant. Well, she probably feels like you don't like her or you're not really that into her and you lied to her basically. And the best, so when she says, how come you haven't been texting me? You just say, oh, I've been really busy this week. Hey, when are you free to get together? I want to see you. And that's all you got to say because what she's asking is like, why aren't you texting me? In other words, she's wanting to know, do you not like me anymore? And then, so your response should be, Instead of saying, oh, just, oh, I've been really slammed at work this week. I've been, you know, I've had a crazy week, but I, I want to see you. I miss you. When are you free to get together? Question mark and send that. And then say, great. How about we have dinner at 8 o'clock on Thursday? I'll pick you up at 8 o'clock. I'll see you at your place. Dress casually. Dress or dress really nice. I'm going to take you to a really cool place or whatever. And make the date and then get off the phone. And then she can wonder about you until you pick her up, which is going to cause her level of attraction and interest in you to grow. But you're, you know, I would encourage you to go to my website and download the Kindle version of my ebook. Underneath the email sign up box is a box that has a link to the Amazon Kindle download page. Once you get there, if you don't have a Kindle device, on the right hand side there's a button you can click to download a free e reader app for your smartphone, tablet device, or your computer. It only takes a matter of seconds to download and install it, and only a few more seconds after that to complete the purchase of my book. You'll be reading it in no time. So you need to learn the basics because you're making a lot of unnecessary mistakes here. So if you've got a question you want to ask me, go to my website and click the Contact Me tab on the left-hand side of your screen and send me one to two paragraphs max detailing your questions and give me several days to get back to you with a response. If you want to talk to me right away, the quickest way to get my help is to book a paid phone coaching session. And you can do that by going to my website, click the Products tab, and just follow the instructions. If you appreciate the value of the information in my videos and the articles on my website and my ebook, you can show your appreciation by going to my website and on the Wibia toolbar, which will be at the bottom of your screen on any page of my website. Click the PayPal Donate button and donate any amount that you feel is equal to the value of the information. And I will talk to you soon.